Hey guys, Darkworker here and for today's video we are playing a role who got recently buffed on the newest patch. The S2 has a new mechanic that works with your passive. Whenever you have 5 stacks, each auto attack after 5 stacks will reduce your cooldown reduction of the S2 by 1 second, but they nerfed the slow of the S2 in return from 80% to 50%. But I would say it's, I guess it's a decent buff. You just have to use your S2 when you have like four stacks. Then you have five stacks and then you keep auto attacking till, uh, till you have your S2 again. They also change the ultimate. If the ultimate is getting interrupted, the cooldown is getting reduced by 50%. Knock away duration after landing. They adjusted the knock away duration after landing from 0.75 to 0.5 seconds. So they just make the ultimate a little bit more smooth. But I still think the ultimate is complete garbage. Since the ultimate can be interrupted by so, 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 so much. Any any kind of CC interrupts arrow ultimate and in this current meter everyone is playing high CC champions like Ellis, d -Ruck. yeah arrow ultimate escaping doesn't work most of the times escaping with arrow ultimate doesn't work so you always want to initiate with the arrow ultimate because you're not going to escape with uh, the ultimate it's getting it's getting cancelled for sure I tried arrow a few times and every time you want to ult out someone just cancels your ultimate and it doesn't work so lesson learned don't use ultimate to disengage only use it aggressive to engage otherwise it, you won't you won't be, be, be able to use your ultimate it doesn't work like I said the mechanics just a slight change you want to use your s2 a little bit early now once you have like three or four stacks you slow the opponent and then you just keep auto attacking till you have 5 stacks and your ultimate uh, I mean your S2 is getting reduced by doing auto attacks and now use S2 to get another kill the rest is also coming so we're kinda low maybe we can help blocking for our boy arrow uh, let's see S2 or Atta Atta gets the kill so okay 3 3 4 0 pretty good fight so far I guess let's clean mid lane, help him out, and then go back to our top lane. Also, of course, leeching some extra gold from the mid lane. You, you already know. Mid lane got buffed. More gold for the mid laners, so of course we take it. I mean, he has to go back anyways, and you always want to shove the wave in. So it's easier for you to roam or for your mid laner to roam. That's very important. Mid, uh, mid wave control is very important in the game and the mid tower is the most important. If you lose the mid tower, it's just free real estate in your, uh, in your jungle and your enemies will just keep invading you. So keep a good wave control. If your mid laner is roaming for Abyss, you always want to keep track of the mid lane wave and clear it just in case. If they lose a fight and the mid lane wave is crashing in, they just get a free mid lane tower. So of course want to avoid that. Also, if you push the wave in, they win the fight. You can push towers. So it's very important. It's very important to keep track of mid wave control. Okay, can we use our S2 on Quillen? Yes, we do. He dies. We kill the Lumbo as well. Now we're on the pet. Just oh my god, Ras is coming and we are dead. Never mind. It's a two, f two for two actually, not too good. Two for two trade so far. 
Oh yeah, let's talk about enchantment, runes and arcana. For enchantments, I'm using the dual rune in combination with the tower rune, which gives you extra uh, damage reduction and resistance. Also, extra, H uh, extra healing. So when you're low life on arrow, you use your S2, you get even more healing. It's great, great, uh, how do you say it? Great job bait. You can just lure the opponents and you're low life, you have your S2 still up. You use your S2 on two people, you just heal half life again. So that's insane in late game. For the Arcanas, I'm using, let's see. I think I'm using Indomitable, Gorilla and Skewer. So I have a lot of attack speed, movement speed and armor penetration. And for the build I'm using, I think I'm using Rank Breaker, Frost Cape, Troy, Fenrir or something, or Hercules on top. Yeah, Rank, Frost Cape, Troy, then depending on your situation, if you're really fat you can go for Fenrir, if not you go for Hercules and then you can finish with Fenrir or Blade of Eternity. And this is risky, I should just dash out to be honest. Can we kill her? Yes, we do. And ah, oh, the rest, the rest CC chain we couldn't escape. We couldn't use our S2 and we couldn't flicker. So that's unfortunate, of course. 39, 225. We're not doing too bad. We have seven kill participation as a slayer laner. So we're doing fine. We have the top tower as well. We almost have the mid tower, which is really important for us. Our towers are all full life. We have decent wave control right now. Bot lane is even. Mid lane and top lane I will push out now and then I will try to roam. I guess I push out top lane, take the small camps and then I try to roam again. Or maybe I can even kill the Quillen right here but he just escapes. And Raz is already trying to kill us again. We slow him right at the beginning so we can keep our auto attacks up. And you can see how quickly I get my S2 again. So, what do we learn? Use your S2 at the beginning, you slow your opponent for 50%. And with Frost Cape even more slowing, you can... Frost Cape is, in my opinion, very important. So you can keep stick to your opponent, otherwise they're getting away pretty easily. So you start with S2, or you use S1, S2, they get slow, then you keep auto-attacking. And... When, when you have, once you have your S2 again, you just use it as a finisher move. Let's try to do red buff. I'm putting it in. I see Quillen. I use my S2 S1. I use my S1 there at the right timing to get the red buff. I use my S2 again. See how quickly I get my S2 thanks to the new buff. And we have... I think we have like 30% cooldown reduction right now with Frost Cape and the blue buff. So even quicker for us to get our S2 back. Right here, I'm kind of scared that he will try to ultimate on us or ultimate flicker on us. And we don't have five stacks yet, so... Yeah, let's take the mini buff from your low life arrow away. away. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. There's quick knock. So we're doing pretty fine, 4 to 5. We're getting Troy now. With Troy blue buff, we will have... 40% cooldown reduction if we manage to get it in time. Let's, I guess, ooh, start S2 early. And now I just auto attack to get my S2 again. I already have my S2 again, use it, we kill Lumber. Maybe we can, uh, risky? Uh, let's just do it, we go, we go all in. Okay, <laughs> never mind. I use my S2 early so I can keep, see, see how quickly I get my S2 again. That's the new arrow buff. Let's just use S2, S1, dodge the S2 that he's fire firing on us. Just kite a little bit. Use, see, you can use it early and now I have S2 again. I There is a trick that you can do. You can auto attack animation cancel your S2, the, the one without stacks. And then it's like instantly, like you... You don't see the animation, but it's still proxy damage. I don't know how to do it exactly, but I managed to do it a few times and 
I still don't know how to repeat it cor correctly, but there is a way to cancel your S2 animation when you don't have 5 stacks. So you immediately auto attack, S2 auto attack, and the S2 animation doesn't even fire off. So you still proc the damage for your S2, but the, there is no animation at all. So you're instantly doing S1, S2 auto attack. I mean, uh, auto attack, S2 auto attack. And there's no animation, but I still don't know how to repeat it cor correctly. I did it a few times, but I'm not sure how to do it. So maybe in a future video, when I do arrow again, I figure it, uh, figured it out and I will tell you, of course. But right now I can only tell you there is a way for you to cancel your S2 animation completely without any delay. Because once you use S2, you always have a slight delay between your auto attack afterwards. You see how slow it is. But the trick, like, oh, I don't know how to do it. I wish I could do it and show it to you guys right now. But it's kind of tricky maybe when you move quickly back while you're using your S2. Or you press your auto attack quickly while you're using S2, you can cancel it. But you guys can try it out and test on how to cancel it. I just said, said to you guys the possibility and maybe one of you guys can figure the exact trick on how to repeat it 100% of the times. But right now I don't know it exactly. Okay, we're doing pretty fine. Maybe we can siege the tier 3 tower. We are about to get the ultimate again in 5 seconds. Let's get red buff. Very important on arrow. Big buff. Oh, he's fighting pretty deep. Red. Oh, we didn't get the red. Yeah, I guess arrow. Uh, I mean, Elano taking red is fine. Let's engage. No one wants to fight here. I guess use our S2 to heal. Oh, actually now they're engaging. Okay. See if we can kill Quillen. Like another trick, did you see what I tried to do? I use my S2 in one direction and then I re redirect with Flicker the S2 damage onto Talanas, but she barely survived. There's another trick. You can t hit two people at once with your S2 in two different directions. So if you hit your S2 like exactly right in front of you to one opponent, and an opponent is like, they, let's say, at the opposite side. You can, once you hit your S2, flicker at the back and then you hit both targets at the same time. And both targets get damaged and get knocked up. Or you can do it like in a split direction, like to the left and to the right. You use it to the right like I did. And then you flicker at the time you do the damage on to the left side then you hit both targets basically so that's another trick on how to use arrow with flicker using um, flicker to redirect the damage of your s2 onto two different directions i did a guide for this trick as well onto a different gameplay a, a while ago like a few months ago so if you want to see that one check it out i explained on how to use the flicker s2 trick right there so that's good game, A217, we did pretty fine, let's use our ultimate into the base. I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary using the new, um, yeah, using arrow on the new patch and if so please like, subscribe and commentate down below what other heroes you would like to see in upcoming videos, bye bye.